staff that Ferguson Fire is still threatening many homes. Over 100 homes and stru structures are still threatened. And I have Alex Olo with me here, public information officer, to give us a little bit more information. Tell me about those mandatory evacuations that you guys had yesterday. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, we did, uh, actually it was in addition to the mandatory evacuation that was already in effect. And uh, what the Mariposa County Sheriff did is they um, made the mandatory evacuation, extended it to include uh, Incline Road from Clearing House all the way to the Foresta Bridge. So that area pretty much was already under a mandatory evacuation, just a small piece of it really wasn't included in the, the order as it were. Um, but now it is. And then uh, at about the same time, we put out a fire advisement. So another fire advisement went into effect. And that fire advisement is for the El Portal area, the National Park Service areas, government housing, old El Portal, Rancheria Flat. Those areas are now under a fire advisement. They are not under an evacuation. It's just a fire advisement so that the folks there can be prepared in the event an evacuation is necessary. Um, and uh, today we're getting ready for another day. Yeah, I see crews starting to wake up. Go ahead and tell me a little bit of what are some of the things that you guys are going to prioritize as it comes through the day today. Okay, um, well, what we've been doing too, we went into a unified command uh, yesterday morning, which means more resources, and that's a good thing. So our resource numbers actually jumped. We were around 700 personnel total yesterday. Uh, the last number I heard was maybe 1,450, and that number has probably increased since yesterday or last evening as more crews are arriving. What you see now is the crews that worked yesterday, they came in, they ate, they come here, because we were moving from the Mariposa County uh, command post to the uh, Wani Hills Regional Park. This is our new command post. And so they came here, they've eaten, or not eaten, but slept. Now they're going to eat, then they'll go to their briefing, and then they'll go back out into the field for the fight. Um, priorities for today are the same priorities we've had since the beginning, of course, is to contain and control the Ferguson fire. Um, efforts that they've been making have been difficult because of the steep terrain and sometimes inaccessible areas. Uh, firefighters will scout out areas that they can effectively set up and uh, create hand lines or dozer lines and contingency lines. They look for areas where the best success is going to be possible and that's what they'll be doing again today. Um, priorities of course is firefighter safety and then the protection of the community, so the public safety. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate that interview sure. with us. Yeah, thank you. Good. Now, there's going to be a meeting tonight for anyone who wants any more information about the Ferguson fire that's going to be in Wasuma Elementary at 6 p.m.